Get ready to dive into the thrilling world of spies, family, and espionage in our Spy X Family Season 1 recap. Based on the popular manga, this anime is a unique blend of action, humor, and heartwarming family moments. The series was brought to life by Wit Studio, Cloverworks, and features a fantastic soundtrack by No Name. In this video, we'll walk you through the key moments of Season 1, from espionage missions to the hilarious family dynamics. Let's dive in! In the debut episode, we are introduced to the master spy, codenamed Twilight. His mission is to get close to Donovan Desmond, a powerful political leader. To do so, Twilight disguises himself as Lloyd Forger, a psychiatrist, and forms a fake family. He adopts a seemingly ordinary child named Anya, who secretly possesses telepathic abilities. While Lloyd is away on a mission, Anya accidentally reveals their location when she contacts Edgar, a minister in Ostania. This blunder leads to her kidnapping. Lloyd has to rescue her and force Edgar to withdraw. After passing the admission exam for Eden Academy, Anya and Lloyd discover that the next step for acceptance into the school is a formal interview with both parents required to attend. This episode delves into the life of Yor Briar, who works at Berlin City Hall. Yor faces social pressure as a single woman, which could expose her secret identity as an assassin. While visiting a tailor shop, she meets Lloyd, and they agree to form a partnership out of convenience. However, a side mission causes Lloyd to arrive late for a party with Yor. In a humorous mix-up, Lloyd accidentally introduces himself as Yor's husband. Realizing the benefits of their partnership for her work as an assassin, Yor asks Lloyd if they can continue pretending to be married. He agrees and uses a grenade pin as a makeshift ring in their comical pledge. Now legally married, Yor moves in with Lloyd and Anya. However, their mock interview for admission to Eden Academy goes awry. To understand what it means to be an upper-class family, Lloyd organizes a family outing to various cultural activities. As Lloyd becomes distressed over doubts about the success of their mission, Yor takes the family to a park to relax. There, they witness a thief robbing an old woman. With teamwork from Lloyd, Yor, and Anya, they apprehend the thief. The old woman comments that the forgers make a wonderful family. Lloyd takes this as a sign that the mission still has a chance. The forgers arrive at Eden Academy for the interview, impressing Housemaster Henry Henderson as they overcome various screening efforts. However, during the interview, Murdoch Swan, a divorcee, deliberately tries to taunt and fail them. The tension escalates, leading Lloyd to end the interview. Afterward, Lloyd believes they have failed the interview, but Yor and Anya reassure him. They leave the outcome to luck, uncertain of whether they will be accepted into the prestigious school. Despite their perceived failure at the interview, Anya is placed on the waiting list thanks to Henderson's intervention. She is eventually accepted into Eden Academy. To celebrate, Anya asks Lloyd to reenact a rescue scene from her favorite cartoon, Spy Wars. Lloyd, eager to fulfill her request, uses Wise's resources to rent a castle and engages fellow agents in her reenactment games. After conquering various obstacles, Anya and her family celebrate her success, and she promises to excel in school for Lloyd's sake. Wise initiates Operation Strix, aiming to make Anya an Imperial Scholar, allowing her to infiltrate the school's gathering and get close to Donovan. To do so, Anya must earn eight Stella Stars while avoiding receiving eight Tonitris Bolts, equivalent to expulsion. Yor saves Anya from a kidnapping attempt and agrees to teach her self-defense. However, Anya is placed in the same class as Damien Desmond, Donovan's second son. Damien's constant bullying of Anya culminates in her punching him, earning her a tonitris bolt and complicating Lowed's plan. Lowed pressures Anya to apologize to Damien, despite discouragement from her new friend, Becky Blackbell. When Anya finally manages to apologize in Becky's absence, Damien, who has developed feelings for Anya, rejects her apology out of embarrassment. Believing his plan has failed, Lloyd realizes he has pressured Anya too much. Yor helps Lloyd understand his mistake, and he reassures Anya while questioning what it feels like to have a family. Yuri Breyer, Yor's brother, pays an unexpected visit. He works for the Austanian State Security Service and struggles to accept his sister's marriage. Yuri barrages Lloyd with questions, suspecting him. 
Lowit, however, deduces Yuri's affiliation with the SSS and agrees to demonstrate his marriage by kissing Yor in front of Yuri. Yuri threatens to annul their marriage if they fail to do so, creating an awkward and comedic situation. Yuri attempts to stop the kiss after having second thoughts, leading to a slap from Yor. Yuri refuses to accept the marriage, but recognizes Loid's good nature. Loid, on the other hand, suspects Yor's connection with the SSS. He disguises himself as a member of the SSS and extracts information from her, but later clears her doubts. The episode ends with a heartfelt moment as Yor expresses her happiness and appreciation for being Loid's partner. Both Anya and Damien hear a rumor about a Stella star being awarded to the most valuable player in an upcoming dodgeball tournament. During the tournament, Anya and Damien's class faces an athletically gifted opponent, Bill Watkins. Damien sacrifices his chance to win a Stella star to protect Anya. However, the rumor about the award turns out to be false, and Anya and Damien's relationship sees limited improvement. Loid takes Anya to volunteer at a hospital to earn Stella stars through community service. Anya's performance angers the hospital staff, but she later saves a drowning patient, earning her the first Stella star. Meanwhile, her classmates spread false rumors about her heroic deed, which Damien defends. Inspired by a cartoon character, Anya asks her parents for a dog to get closer to Damien. Loid takes Anya and Yor to the Berlin Aquarium to prove to their neighbors that they are a happy family. However, Loid is forced into another mission, this time involving a microfilm containing chemical weapon plans hidden within a penguin. Anya secretly helps Loid locate the microfilm carrying penguin and tricks Yor into apprehending the recipient. Loid successfully retrieves the microfilm and the family impresses their neighbors, leading to a heartwarming family moment. While buying a dog for Anya, Loid is called away on an urgent mission to stop a terrorist group of Austanian students led by Keith Kepler, who plans to use dogs as bomb carriers to assassinate Westalian Foreign Minister Brantz. Meanwhile, Anya, at an animal adoption fair, reads the thoughts of a white dog and receives a vision of her own family. Intrigued, she follows the dog and ends up in the terrorist's hideout. The dog helps her escape, and Anya discovers its unique ability to predict the future. Keith corners them, but Yor intervenes, believing him to be a child trafficker. Keith is forced to flee, taking the last bomb dog and rigging his hideout's door with a bomb. Anya, through the dog's future vision, sees that Loid will die from the explosion. She manages to escape Yor's watch and rushes to the bomb's location, preventing Loid's death by writing a warning outside. Meanwhile, Loid disguises himself as Minister Brantz, detaches from the secret police, and leads Keith into a chase. During their confrontation, Keith releases the bomb dog after Loid, initiating a tense showdown. Loid successfully locks the bomb dog in a dumpster and throws the bomb into the river, preventing any casualties. Keith flees the scene but crashes his car after a kick from Yor, who is searching for Anya. With the terrorism incident resolved, Loid reunites with his family, and they decide to adopt the white dog with Sylvia's approval. Anya's attempt to impress Damien with her new dog doesn't go as planned, but she eventually names the new Forger family member Bond. Worried about potentially losing her family, Yor seeks help from Camilla to improve her cooking skills. She learns how to make a stew from her childhood, hoping to win over her husband and daughter with delicious home-cooked meals. After preparing a stew, Yor realizes that she has grown fond of her family despite the unconventional circumstances. Frankie, one of Loid's colleagues, falls in love and seeks Loid's assistance in confessing his feelings. Despite rehearsing his confession, he is rejected, which leaves him disheartened. Loid consoles him at a bar, reminding Frankie that due to the nature of their profession, romantic relationships are not a viable option. Anya schemes to win Damien's favor by helping him in an arts and crafts contest, which he hopes to win to impress his father. Unfortunately, Anya's involvement turns Damien's griffin sculpture into a disaster. However, Damien ends up winning the first prize, even with the ruined sculpture. This episode provides a glimpse into Sylvia's daily life as a spy as she evades the SSS to meet with Twilight and discuss Operation Strix. Her role as a spy comes with its own set of challenges, making her an integral part of the family's secret missions. Anya realizes that her midterm exams will take place during the new moon, 
rendering her telepathy ineffective and making cheating impossible. Yor invites Yuri to tutor Anya, but their efforts prove fruitless. Despite their lack of progress, Anya becomes inspired to study to help Loed with his missions. Nervous about Anya's exam results, Loed sneaks into the school's vault to alter her answers. However, he encounters an amateur spy named Daybreak, who is trying to sabotage the Desmond brothers' answers. Loed discreetly undoes Daybreak's sabotage and notices that Anya had barely passed the exam on her own. Anya foils George Gloomin's plan to get Damien expelled as revenge for his family's company going out of business. Anya gains sympathy from her classmates, and they bid George farewell. However, George learns that his family's company is not closing, returning to school embarrassed. After sending Anya off to school, Yor realizes that she left her gym clothes behind. She rushes to the school to deliver them, only to find out there is no gym class that day. Loed meets Yor at the school and invites her to lunch, attempting to uplift her spirits and improve her mood. Anya accompanies Loed to learn about his cover job as a psychiatrist for a school report on a career she is interested in. While Loed is away meeting with a wise agent, Anya sneaks into Loed's secret escape tunnel in his office, unintentionally startling the other doctors. Anya then presents her report to the class, but it portrays Loed's work in a negative light. Inspired by an episode of Spy Wars, Anya creates a secret code that instructs the decoder to meet her at a bridge at 8 o'clock on Saturday. She passes this code to all her friends, including Frankie, who mistakenly believes it's a secret love letter. He arrives at the bridge, but Anya, oblivious to the time, sleeps through her alarm, leading to a humorous misunderstanding. Nightfall, a wise agent working under the alias Fiona Frost, visits the forgers to inform Lowed of their upcoming mission. However, she also secretly harbors feelings for Lowed and intends to replace Yor. After realizing that Lowed genuinely cherishes his family, Fiona leaves their home, disheartened. Bond becomes jealous of Anya's stuffed penguin and destroys it, leaving Anya upset. Lowed repairs the penguin and convinces Anya to forgive Bond, highlighting the importance of family bonds. Lowed and Fiona disguise themselves as a married couple and participate in an underground tennis tournament hosted by Cavi Campbell. The tournament's prize is a painting containing the location of a dossier that could potentially reignite a war. Fiona hopes to prove her capabilities and replace Yor's role in Operation Strix. As they progress through the tournament, they encounter various cheating tactics by Campbell's children, creating tense matches. Meanwhile, Yor becomes increasingly concerned about Fiona's intentions and her relationship with Loed. Loed and Fiona navigate the cheaters in the tennis tournament, reaching the finals against Campbell's children. Campbell rigs the match to give his children an unfair advantage, making it a high-stakes showdown. Meanwhile, Yor's concern for her family deepens as she witnesses the intense competition. Their relationships are further tested as Fiona challenges Yor to a tennis match, aiming to prove her worthiness. However, Yor, thanks to her extraordinary strength, defeats Fiona, leading to a troubled Yor. Yor worries that she will be replaced by Fiona, causing rumors and concerns among the Forger family. In response, Loed arranges a date with Yor to address these concerns and reaffirm their bond. During the date, Loed attempts to seduce a tipsy Yor, which results in her knocking him out in panic. Later, the two engage in a heartfelt conversation where Loed reassures Yor of his commitment to their marriage and family. They reconcile and strengthen their connection. Becky takes Anya on a shopping trip to an exclusive high-class mall with the hope of catching Damien's attention. During the shopping spree, Becky indulges herself, while Anya chooses a matching set of keychains. She surprises Becky by gifting her one of the keychains, symbolizing their growing friendship. Martha, Becky's butler, reflects on Becky's transformation from a haughty and unsociable girl into a friendlier and more open individual. Lloyd infiltrates Eden Academy on the day of the Imperial Scholar Social Gathering, where Donovan Desmond is set to attend. Lloyd aims to make contact with Donovan and gather valuable information. Although he does not achieve his mission's primary objective, he manages to make an impression on Donovan while defending Damien's feelings. Following Lloyd's departure, Damien finally engages in a brief conversation with his father, receiving a subtle acknowledgement for his academic achievements. With this, we conclude the recap of Spy X Family Season 1.
the Forger family has navigated numerous challenges, missions, and comedic moments, all while building a unique and endearing bond. As the season ends, the family's secret operations and personal adventures continue. Now, viewers can look forward to enjoying the ongoing Spy X Family Season 2, filled with more espionage, family dynamics, and unexpected twists. Thank you for watching and joining us on this exciting journey with the Forger family.